Uh, hey guys, um, what's going on? Um, well, what's going on with me? Um, I'm just comfy right now, lying in my bed. And um, today I wanted to talk about what exactly it's like having Asperger's because I feel like it's one of the main uh, reasons why I'm neat or um, it's definitely a huge contributing factor just because of how hard it makes it to um, interact with people. And um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to, um, I guess, before I get into like the, I guess, main topic of the video, I just wanted to uh, say that I actually haven't had a proper diagnosis for this condition, but I highly suspect that I do have it um, for several, um, I guess, of the behaviors I seem to exhibit. And um, I have a lot of stories that I could tell about um, my Asperger's, but um, anyways, yeah, today I'm probably just going to be talking about a lot of the behaviors I exhibit, and um, which makes me think I have um, this condition. But yeah, anyways, <coughs> yeah, here, here it goes. Um, so the first thing is that, um, well... As uh, someone with Asperger's, um, I really, one of the main things is that, um, well, people with Asperger's seem to have really diminished social skills. And um, I definitely suffer from this to an extent. And I feel like as far as social skills go, most normal people will learn them over time and, um, you know, develop normally as a result. And unless you know they have uh, um, don't have enough interactions with people but for me it's not like i grew up in a cave or i don't know like locked up in some basement somewhere like i actually went to school and stuff and i had you know friends i had interactions with a lot of kids but at the same time i never seemed to learn these proper skills to interact with people unlike most kids or i never learned at the proper pace so yeah um that's, I guess, one side of me having Asperger's. And um, anyways, I guess these social, these social skills can be broken down into a number of different skills, um, which I guess I currently have a lot of deficits in. And I guess I'll list them briefly and uh, I guess dis list and describe them briefly. So the first one would probably have to do with something called, um, you know, theory of mind and um that's it's basically referring to this sort of skill to um you know kind of think from another person's perspective and it's not like empathy where it's about like the emotions but it's more about like kind of like um logically thinking about how another person would think and you know this is something that most people are able to do but for me I often um, struggle with this and my brain often draws the wrong conclusions or I, I, or I just never bother trying to think from another person's perspective. And as a result, it can cause me to say things which are either really awkward and out of context and just strange and um, or it can um, make me say things that are just outright offensive and me not even know it, you know, like I'll say really unintentionally offensive things or you know maybe not things that are universally offensive but things that might i might just bring up something that another person is highly sensitive to that i should have picked up about but i didn't figure it out and then that person might think that like i don't know i'm trying to like confront them or something or like offend them you know but in reality it's because i'm not doing it intentionally i just it's like for example, like it's because I'm trying to like make small talk, you know, like I'm just trying to make small talk, but I'll just say whatever thought comes into my mind because I'm desperate for it to, um, like, I don't know, break the silence, but I like my, my brain, my, my Asperger's brain won't um, scan the thought through like normally. And I'll just say something that's completely offensive to this person. Like, like, I don't know, like. Um, yeah, I'm not getting any examples now because it'll make the video too long. But yeah, that's the first thing. Um, and related to that is probably, um, I guess, the ability to read like, um, um, you know, like social context. Like I won't 
take into account like the broader um like social environment or social context and as a result that'll also cause me to act in ways which are not like the crowd except i won't even realize it because i feel like you have to fit in to a certain extent when you're um, dealing with normies or normal people um but at the same time um yeah um i'm not able to do that and uh i just you know say things that are completely out of place i don't dress the way everyone else is dressing like i don't dress appropriately i people might i might be at a formal event and but i might be talking like too casually like yeah, i hope you know what i mean and um yeah uh, there's that like it's definitely another issue with asperger's um other thing is not only the the ability to read social context but you know just social cues in general and by social cues i mean like all of the like commute like the different like communications like i guess specific like non-verbal stuff like my ability to read that stuff is like really like diminished like it doesn't register it doesn't like i guess people react naturally to extent to an extent and i do i guess to like really like obvious stuff like like really like clear anger but when it comes to like the more like subtle things like maybe like frustration or maybe like a person's getting like starting to get bored like i'll only figure it out when they're like not like paying attention or they just ignore me but i don't like catch it in between and then like things like body language or you know oftentimes i'll misread that or i'll think someone's interested in me when really they're just being polite and um yeah just stuff like that so um yeah obviously that causes a lot of like you know misunderstandings or for me to um, maybe i don't know you know i might try and hang out with some like people maybe but in reality they're not interested but then i'm not sure like i won't pick that up so then i'll just be a nuisance or um you know maybe i'll i'll say something that offends someone and then i won't pick that up and i'll continue down that sort of line of conversation instead of um, changing it like a normal person would and it'll just irritate them so i don't pick up on these like non-verbal communications and um like you know i guess the things like um eye contact and you know body posture and you know facial expressions like micro expressions and things like that like i don't pick them up naturally so i just yeah that's another thing that lead me leads me to believe that i'm aspie and um so it's not just the reading part but it's also the expressing part too because i feel like social skills is kind of like a language and there's the reading part and then there's the speaking or like the listening and the speaking so the speaking would be like me actually doing these social skills like so for example um things like eye contact like never really came naturally to me i feel like people normal people make eye contact very easily you know apart from like the whole like stare down like thing that people do in the streets i don't know like like what it what is that even about like to assert dominance or like whatever like why do you people just like stare you down sometimes you know like yeah like maybe that like people know what that is or people just do it unconsciously but for me it's like i'm always thinking like why is this person staring me down like it just happens a lot so maybe that's another sign like i'm not talking about like when people in a room like all stare at me for like doing something weird although that has happened to me uh sometimes but it's more like when that like one person is like maybe like across from the gym or something just like staring at you like it's weird like i don't know but yeah so but in terms of eye contact um i tend to be really uncomfortable with it and just talking to people like i've started to make more of an effort to like make eye contact and um when i'm speaking to people in real life but when i was growing up i remember someone once told me that um 
asked me why I never make eye contact. And it was true because whenever I was talking to people, especially in high school and maybe even like beginning of university, I basically would stare like this, like pretend the camera lens is like you're like you, you looking at me, like I'm making eye contact, like I'm doing that now, but not even now, but before I'd be, I'd have my head turned or I'd look down or somewhere. And then I feel like it would really throw people off. But before it never occurred to me that you were supposed to make eye contact with people when you talk to them. So I would just stare and like, it would seem like I'm not paying attention to them when I'm talking or when I was talking to them and like not listening. Like, yeah, like when I'm, when I was listening, I wouldn't make eye contact. So people would think I'm not paying attention or when I was talking to them, I would like talk to them, but my eyes would not be looking at them. So it'd just be really weird. So yeah, there's that. And, um, the other thing is things like facial expressions. Um, I always have, um, I never really had a wide um, range of facial expressions, but I feel like <laughs> this has caused a lot of misunderstandings because yeah, like I have, um, um, I guess like resting bitch face. Um, I know someone talking about this too, but, um, yeah, like I definitely have to when talking to people in real life and, um, like, yeah, um, it's resting bitch face in the sense that like my, like my eyes are just like, it's almost like a flat, like robotic look, like it's known as like a flattened affect. And, um, I think I'm like, I'm pretty sure I suffer from this and, um, I feel like it just, it's not only that, but it's not just my resting face, which looks angry, but it's that I never actually like, like do any like facial expressions. Like I won't smile or like when I, I think I'm smiling, but I'm actually going like, like just the bare minimum of a smile. But to me, it feels like I'm smiling because I'm, I don't know, like i my face is basically in the same position, like my whole life. And, um, well, yeah. Or like I never show, um, emotions and you know this causes a lot of complications because i feel like you're supposed to convey your emotions through your face and because i don't do this people either think i hate them i'm pissed at them or i misunderstand them or no or that um i i'm not um really interested in what they're saying and um yeah that's definitely a huge problem with not having a you know not being able to uh engage in that particular social skill and do it properly. And, uh, you know, cause all this is really just like social communication, right? I basically suck at social communication and that's like why I think I have Asperger's or I'm pretty sure I do. And I guess as far as that stuff goes, the last thing that I, I'm not very good at is, you know, related to facial expressions is body posture because I always keep the same body posture and yeah, my posture is shit. Although, you know, that may have more to do with like bullying and stuff and less to do with Asperger's. So, um, but you know, I'm always slouched over and, um, I don't, you know, maybe body posture has less to do with Asperger's and more to do with like your social status and stuff like, but yeah, anyways, um, I won't talk about that. So, I guess the last thing is that because I have really poor like um, social skills, it's like I can't like conversations never flow naturally to me. So I'll always have to like basically for me, I always have to run these social scripts. So like I'll go if I go to the store, I'll have to run like the store script where I um, I always pretty much say the exact same thing every time. I buy something from like a supermarket and I'm checking at the cashier. I'll go like, Oh, um, I'll say thank you. Or like, I don't know. Like I'll, say, I'll, I'll have to load that script where the person's like, I'm like pre thinking what I'm going to say in my mind. And I like it when I can expect the conversation to flow the same way every time, like at the cashier, for example. But when it's, um, I'm talking to an actual person, I'll still do the same thing and, you know, I'll react the same way. And, it's like I'm leading, I'm reading lines off of a script and, um, 
it's like I've developed a lot of different scripts for different situations, but obviously they're not perfect. And because, well, they'll never be as good as someone talking naturally like a normal person. And, um, yeah, I just, <clears throat> it makes it really hard to talk to people. And, um, <clears throat> um, yeah, so there's that. I like, saw, so, like, I tend to have like these verbal tics too, where I'll say like true, true, or um, like yeah, yeah, like this, um, um, like I don't know, like you can like yeah, like is one of them. Although, well, that has more to do with like my public, my shitty public speaking skills. But yeah, things like true is something I'll say a lot. It's just my my default response to everything. My default like catch-all script because it's like. It's basically like my agreement script, but instead of like having like different words that I alternate between because I'm thinking on the fly like a normal person, I just say the same thing um, every time. And because it's like, I don't actually like, li I don't know, I listen, but then it's like, I don't formulate a proper response or like continue the conversation. Like I'll just say like, true, true, or yeah, oh, okay, that's true, true. And then, it's like, I want to say more, but it's like, I'm just, I have a hard time like thinking normally and coming up with normal things. And because of like my lack of social awareness and context, you know, like, um, I tend to say really weird off-putting things so that maybe that's why I default to these social scripts. And I guess another thing is that, um, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, it's, it's not on my like notepad thing that I came up with like mid like I don't know like video um I don't know whatever I'll just let it go um but anyways all these lack of social skills leads me to have a really hard time forming connections with people and um because of all the misunderstandings all the misunderstandings it creates like if I'm not making someone uncomfortable, then like, I feel like sometimes people will give me the benefit of the doubt and they'll try and think um, I'm, you know, they'll try and be friends with me. They'll show interest or they'll smile and, you know, do all these things. And, but because I don't pick up on the social cues, I, I'll either miss it. Or if I do pick it up, pick up on it, I won't like do the bright, I won't do the proper behaviors to indicate interest, like smile back, talk more and do all these things. Like I have to consciously think about these things versus it happening naturally for people. So I don't know. I think that's definitely in, indicative of the fact that I have like some sort of Asperger's or if not Asperger's, some really like strong social skills deficit that I need to work on. But because I never, but you know, maybe my social skills deficit is because of, is because, uh, is because of my Asperger's. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's that. And it's the only other thing I would add is that I feel like I relate to a lot of the things that are on the r slash Asperger's subreddit. And that's another reason why, like I pretty much relate to like 90% of what's on there. And um, another thing is that I tend to get really obsessed about things or I'll only have, I'll hyper focus on like two or three like hobbies instead of being like well-rounded, like the average person is and pay attention to all facets of my life, like grooming, fashion, and you know, stuff like that. Things that would um, help me be a, um, I don't know, productive citizen, because I feel like to be a functioning like, normie, you have to be like at least decent or not decent, even just like mediocre at nine, like, at, like maybe a whole bunch of di different like skills, like grooming, fashion, cleaning, um, talking, you know, and all these things, you know, and uh, for me, it's like I'm hyper, not necessarily like good at, but like I'm hyper focused on like two or three that maybe I'm better than the average like mediocre person at but not by much but then everything else I'm just shit at like grooming taking care of myself forming having friendships maintaining relationships so 
yeah, anyways, um, the video is probably kind of long now, so I'm going to end it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And, um, um, yeah, I'm just feeling a little down right now because I broke a six-day NoFab streak. And uh felt good in the moment, but now I have no energy. So, yeah, I'll be back to my old self, um, hopefully next video, assuming that I stay on another streak. But anyways... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed uh, me talking and um, yeah, this is Comfy Neat signing out.